Hello guys, hello! Oh, finally Tuesday and the deadline for this event is killing me right now. And funny thing is, the moment I wanted to start my stream, our cat suddenly just like barged in. So he's like meowing in the background right now. As if he knows I'm gonna do this event right now. So yeah, super excited to shut off my brain after... <gasps> My daytime job. So, yeah, gonna do a quick audio check. So, be right back. Oh my god, he's meowing like crazy right now. <laughs> oh no, now I have to think over do I want to pet my our own cat or just like petting the virtual cat in Genshin right now. <laughs> he's just meowing so much. <sighs> okay, what time is it? Oh, I'm currently cleaning my glasses so I'm practically blind right now. How long did I start? Uh... Okay, 8.57 won't be long, 3 minutes. Uh, yeah, ju uh, judging from my friend's testimony because he uh, did uh, this event last night. And he managed to do it in like 30 minutes, so... But that... That is if you skip dialogues. <laughs> so I'm hoping it won't reach like uh, 2 hours at least. Whew. Yeah, I really need to like adjust myself because I do really want to stream on the weekdays as I said. <sighs> because I need to catch up with everything and I know Honkai Star Rail events has like 20 uh, plus days-ish. So I don't know if I'm gonna do that Honkai Star Rail next week. And then, oh, even by next week, Genshin, I mean Ar Alakino is arriving as well, debuting. So of course I'm gonna pull for her. Yeah, I just need to make time for Honkai Star Rail. Man, even Bayonetta 3. But no worries, I I do I am planning to do Bayonetta 3 tomorrow. So can't wait for that one as well. Gotta shut gonna shut my brain off and then just like go crazy being a witch. Can control uh demons and then just like slaying those homunculi humanoids. Okay, uh so nice to like uh, wind down for a bit, just streaming some stuff. And it's so, uh, oh my god, uh, yeah, Monday was yesterday, right? So I had the worst Monday blues ever because we had like a long weekend. We celebrated aid, and yeah, I uh, my break started around Wednesday last week. So I I don't know what happened <laughs> in the course of those five days. I remember like streaming Bayonetta and then Genshin. But everything else, it's like a blur to me. <laughs> and then when we came back to work yesterday, like, geez, man, we can feel the the Monday boost so hard. We were just like, yeah, we were still in like that post haze uh, holiday, <laughs> uh, holiday, uh, what do you call it? Holiday high, I guess, if you can call it that. So okay, it's already 9 p.m. So three, two, one, let's go. Hello guys, hello and welcome back to my Genshin Impact stream. So as the title clearly, strongly emphasized, we're gonna be petting cats today. And I guess you can count it as officially petting cats because as far as I know, we can only feed, we can only feed them doggos and cats. But, but now, but now we can finally pet them. Uh, and then funny enough, uh, I just watched the 4.5 announcement yesterday with my friends and yeah, they did mention about this event and then the ley line. So yeah, coincidentally, I am currently doing both of them right now. So okay, enough blabbering sub. So let's just go. Let's just start. Yes, of course, I'm using Kiwawa's music because she's my favorite quiet cat ever. I'm trying to talk to you, but it sounds like I'm talking gibberish right now. So okay. Nothing. Just talk. Just cat. Oh yeah, wait. Before I start, my paranoia kicks in again. Let me do a, a quick audio check, making sure to engage.
Hello, testing. Hello. <laughs> uh, is that even Wednesday? Is this a new Tuesday curse for me? Please, can someone verify that for me? Is this okay? I'm gonna do a quick mic check again. Oh my god, I can't believe that happened. So I'm wondering how it's gonna be like uploaded my entire stream here because I lost like 20 minutes. <laughs> because of the power outage. It's okay. Just making sure. Let me check my audio again. Be right back. Okay. Thankfully. Thankfully, everything is okay. But wow. Wow, though. Wow. I never knew. Like, if you set up everything from, like, OBS and then to YouTube, you have the option to, uh, like, uh... Like, for example, my power went out, right? But, uh, uh, OBS, like, uh... Saves your current, uh, stream settings and such. So, it basically pauses the stream. So, that's why I was so shook seeing my... My live stream was still on. What do you mean you didn't know? I forgot, okay? I forgot it's a thing. I didn't know that it could affect like this. I literally taught you about it. Yeah, like, I mean, I didn't know like it could be like this. Even though like my internet went out for like a good 20 minutes. And then it just like it can automatically resume. So I'm just like in awe of that. <laughs> and then it like transitioned seamlessly too when I uh, reconnected all my things again. Yeah, I had to like let it cook for a few minutes after the technicians were... Uh, we're done with all the repairs or maybe main, main maintenance checking and such. So yeah, I'm just like, this is awesome. Stream, streaming it on PC is awesome, basically. <laughs> Before, when I stream on the PS, it, it just like, if your internet died or if, you, if your power like died, it's the end of the stream, that's that. Wait to your attention to, to learn because of your constant disconnects. <laughs> Yes, I would like to thank you, Dia. Oh my god, I because I didn't didn't know this was a thing because usually oh when I when I got my PC I didn't like a I didn't set my stream on like a YouTube first schedule a stream like the usual waiting room and then go to the OBS settings because usually before then I just like set up in OBS and then that's why checking on the youtube thing you can have a lot of options so yeah this is like an eye opener for me so i don't have to worry whenever there's like a power outage or internet outage as such <laughs> but yeah thank you so much dear thank you hello guys hello oh my god i am so curious to see what's gonna happen uh what's gonna happen after i just like end my stream officially without any disruptions and then seeing the 20 minute gap what's gonna happen around that time if the stream just like immediately transitioned to the one that I'm uh, continuing right now, that would be cool. Or else I might do like uh, crop it out, I guess, on the on YouTube. Uh, uh, we even tested it before. Really? When? What did I remember about it? What did I remember about it? What? What? Uh, I am old, I am old, I can't deny that. I cannot deny that fact. Uh, uh, oh my god, I mean, ah, uh, that's the mood. Ito Arshaka, nice, 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 nice. I mean, we can never escape from RNG. So, okay, I guess a reintroduction. Hello, guys, hello, and welcome back to my Genshin Impact stream. So, TLDR, my power went out, so 20 minutes. I uh, I had to like uh, endure 20 minutes of hell without my internet, so the power back on. I mean, so the power just like uh, just went on again. So thankfully, I haven't started the event. Imagine me petting cats all of a sudden, and then my stream died. What the hell? I was just I was just I was just complimenting our kitty cat too because he was he was like he was in desperate need of, need of attention. Is it because I mocked him and then God decided to like, Okay, time for you to suffer, sub. Not even Wednesday, Chris. This is Tuesday, Chris. What the hell? <laughs> uh, you went with 20 PT. Oh, nice, nice, nice. It do be like that. Congrats, congrats. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna pull for Arshran more next after this, after her rerun. So, okay. 
God, this is so jarring. I don't even... <laughs> I mean, it's so awkward. So, okay, I guess let's just start. Uh, yes, I chose Kirara's... Kirara's music because he's so cute. I mean, it's... It's Kitty Cat. Who else? Okay, praying to God. Praying to God. Everything is okay now. Everything is okay. No more disruptions. It's already 9.30 p.m. But definitely the power outage had like... Had left me wide awake. I am... I'm awake now. I... <laughs> I, I'm truly awake now. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Yes, Lumin, enough with your sad face. I was I was sad before, but seeing the power of OBS and YouTube, I don't have to worry if my stream suddenly like uh, got cut off prematurely and such. So okay, kitty cat time. Time to shut off my brain and then pet cats. Funny enough, our cat is in my parents' room now, so I won't be able to pet him in real life. Uh Oh yeah, Furballs, Fortresses, Frightful Fix. I was also trying to be smart. Like making the title for like, okay, what's a pun for cats or whatever. And then I just went to the basic, uh, basic title because I didn't have any brain juice then. Oh, three single pools and then got her. Nice. So many quests. Yes, Pi. <laughs> yes, feel free to judge me. Hey, want to see something neat? Wanna see something neat too? Look at my look at that character quest. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, when will I have the time to do all of this? I already unlocked everything. Alright, oh, I haven't even unlocked uh Lynette's, but what 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 do you need? I I get uh, is it is it it wait who who is this one? And the Mula Churagi. Wait, who is this? Churagi? Oh, Furinas! Really? Oh, I mean, yeah, makes sense. It's Fontaine. Holy, yes. Oh... Which one is better? Pet a cat or pet a dog? I am anything. Yeah, look at this, man. I only made... I only did... I only did Bennett and Chongyuns. <laughs> Barbara! Not even touching Noelle since she has 12 endings. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I'm just like... I'm just testing the waters right now. I'm stalling right now because I'm still paranoid that my power might go out. But since the technicians are gone, and as I said, the OBS uh, YouTube failsafe, I should be okay. A <laughs> uh, uh, quick uh, drop. Yeah, have fun. I mean, have fun with E2R, Sharon. Nice, nice. <gasps> wait, wait. Um, hello. 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 I did not expect her. I thought it would be someone else. Wait, did I not read the, the thingamabob? Did she said did the quest said anything about Rosaria? Hello, excuse me, I'm missing something. Your recent travels have seen you and Paimon encounter all manner of strange creatures, but in light of various factors, Paimon would still like to have some fun with cats. As such, you intend to return to Monza and drop by the cat's tail. Let's go. One uh, one day, six hours, I'm gonna die. That's why I'm gonna do this ASAP. <gasps> oh, thank God. Oh, yeah, where's Prince? <laughs> you know that this is special because it's voiced. She literally has the same hair as Margaret. <laughs> you, you think she's also here to play with some cats? I think she's also here to play some cars and no, cats. We are catting today, guys. Ooh. Don't tell me they're siblings. Is Rosaria out of all people? <laughs> Is this what it feels like to work in a pet shop? Like a grooming... Uh... Establishment, pet grooming establishment. <laughs> no, we don't want that. We don't want that. We don't want that for the kitties. Okay, I'm not sure. I want to see Rosaria in a cat costume. Oh, I would, l I would love to draw that. <laughs> Where's Diona? 
she should be she should be well equipped with all the knowledge. She should be in this event, not the alchemy one. Hello, considering we just met. Hey, our reputation precedes us. Sounds like a title we'll have to live up to. I smell a commission coming. Hey, our title precedes us. Oh, just straight cats. There should be doggos too. Just make a cat cafe. まさに一石二鳥です。そこで教会のシスターたちに相談したところ、私をサポートするために優しいロサリアさんを派遣してくださいました。別に優しいからじゃなくて、ビクトリアに頼まれたからよ。Man, how long have, has, has it been since we last listened to her voice, Rosaria? Rosaria。Rosaria。Rosaria。Rosaria。Rosaria。Rosaria。Rosaria。Rosaria。Rosaria。Rosaria。Rosaria。Rosaria。Rosaria。Rosaria。Rosaria。Rosaria。Rosa
城って名前なのに。Hey, it is a fortress for cats, Paimon. How dare you? This is big. My, my, my god, look at this space. A few million more. You take that back, Paimon. Oh, man. Oh. Oh. もし責任を持って世話をすると約束できる方が現れれば相性の合う子を連れて帰ってもらうという流れにしようと思っていてなので今の敷地でも十分賄えると思います今後事業が拡大すれば<gasps> Yes, please! All the other critters! Oh, this is going to be a repeat event. Rerun. I'm all in. Yeah, let's do the basics first. Not even you, you can't even. The cat's wanting you. Oh. Oh. やっとのことで連れ帰ってきました。真っ白でふわふわで。雪でふわふわ。スノーボール。Oh is cute. Come on. Why 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 two more pudding? Why why the food? Why the freaking food? Um okay. For me, for me. Hmm, pudding. I want like something short and simple. I prefer tofu. Oh, shit! <laughs> See, of course, by moving the nicknames. I remember you were laughing at. Was it like Caterpillar, like uh, talking about titles? And then Paimon was like, Pfft. What kind of a title is that? Come on, Paimon. Oh, my God, so oh my Okay, I should shut up. I should shut up. I just want to hear them getting ooh with the cats. <laughs> so, it's Paimon and not, not me? Wow, she's like over on cloud nine right now. And then you mean getting sidelined? <laughs> wow, Paimon. You speak from experience. Oh, I thought she's gonna talk more. Okay. ばれりなが弟しながら近づいたら猫だって不安になっちゃうだろ。それにロサリア、お前はもっと表情を拾われた子にも優しく呼びかければ運命は彷徨う。でもロサリアだつディープ。温かい眼差しを向けてくれる。
Yeah. I took the words right out of your mouth, Pamon. Man, Paimon is taking all the reins right now. This better has a rerun. And then next one is our doggos. Okay, let's go. Okay, you must take various requirements into consideration. Okay. Comfiness, durability, and aesthetic. So this is like The Sims. Uh, suitable furniture, furnishing. No more, no less. Okay, have to be perfect. The icon of the furnishings primary attribute will be displayed upper left. Uh, a small amount of other attributes. There is only one unique combination of furnishings uh, that furnishes the attributes need to complete the challenge. Permission have appearances that complement each other the best. So sets. After you've completed the fluffy feline home setup, you can place food. Ooh, I want to give them good old red meat. After you have fed a cat, you can call the corresponding cat at the throne of Meower. <laughs> Meower, I want to take a picture of this. This is so adorable. Man, can we? If we call up, can we go in this building together? Oh man, too bad there's no like cats. Oh, just you! Just you! Oh my god! Oh, look at this though. Yeah. If I have a lot of money, I would buy like a freaking throne for our cats. But I do bet they're just gonna play inside like an empty cardboard box instead. And not the things that we bought for them. Just They just like simple things, I guess. But A, eh, everything for them. Oh yeah, nice, Lumine. Just stretch. <laughs> so cute! Oh my god, you want the portrait! The cat portrait! Okay, let me talk to you first. Uh, on our night, Cat Whisperer Paimon, are you too tired? Would you like something to eat or drink? Or perhaps a massage? <gasps> I would like to have you, but okay, never mind that for now. Let's talk business. Okay, have been cheap. Paimon knows that. Uh, finances, then hesitate to let us know. Mm, nothing to worry about. Yeah, because she managed to finance everything. Yeah, merchants, but okay, operational funds. Uh, stiff breeze. Uh, riddle solver in my adventuring team back then. Oh. And my intelligence overcome the strange mechanisms in the ruins. Oh. Hey, me as a freelance adventure, uh, quite a bit of work. Ten missions in a month, crazy. Uh, oh, operational funds my parents provide me. She has more than enough then, God bless. Sitting in my savings is being used to help cats today. <gasps> oh, for a good cause. For a good cause. Oh my gosh, that works out just as it should, don't you think? This is also goes in line with the Genshin and Disney... This Disney, 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 Disney Channel. I wanted to see Discovery Channel movement. What the hell? Why are we thinking of Disney right now? Am I thinking about Kingdom Hearts? Maybe. Uh, oh yeah, she is certainly wealthy. Uh, that works out just as it should. I've been part of many adventuring teams in my time. Okay, animal loving people and pets. Compassionate souls asking others, and even the nice of Avonius or the church to adopt stray animals. This while they themselves don't have any money beyond that needed to support themselves. Oh, Valerina, you're so kind. We 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 want more people like you in the world. Okay, some good souls with the means, on the other hand, don't need enough more to take care of one or two stray cats, good role models, to have sympathy. But I don't really like asking others to do things that they oh aren't even responsible in the first place, just because of your own feelings. Oh, that's a good mindset to have. That's why solving this problem is a job for someone who's both willing and rich. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's 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 different if you force yourself. I'll pay and I'll do my part. Oh, God bless you. I'll stop bothering you. It's fine. You had this side to you. Are really lucky to have met someone like you. Yes, God bless. Okay, uh, we'll help more cats in the future. A commendable spirit. Such a wonderful uh, praise. I'm getting pumped up again. Yeah, me too. Me too. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just want to 
know if there's like lore or something. I mean, it is about cats, so I have to know everything. Communicate, manage. Okay, so second dialogue. Oh, oh my God! Oh, good, good, good. Accidentally. Yes, this music is vibing with me right now because I do look like a total idiot. Okay, okay, okay. Commendable spirit. Okay. Don't get too gung ho, me. I know you're gonna pet cats after this, but. Oh, yeah. Food and drinks. Cat Cafe, when? Set, uh, kitchen. Are you gonna step up? Uh, step up the plate. As you can see, while this place isn't officially open yet, some guests still uh, stay here for long periods of time. Buy food and drinks themselves in an ideal situation. I've set up things with... Oh, Sara. Have requests for a takeout. You c uh, they can leave them with me. I'll put the order in at Good, uh, in at good Hunter. Oh. Oh, I'm not running this place to make a good profit. So the prices for ordering takeout will be the same as getting it straight from the restaurant. Damn. Man, she's so... she's so nice! I'm sure our guests will be thrilled to be able to enjoy delicious food at the original price. Right? Even you think it's a great idea, don't you? Uh, don't ya? Cat Whisperer. Once the fortress officially opens, this can be one of its selling points. The more people we attract... Oh, yeah, good marketing though. The more likely the cats are to find a suitable owner. Man, she really think things through. Once that happens to add management area. Oh my god, please do it. Just leave the business operations and data gathering to me. Oh yeah, she has experience. She knows what's up. She knows how the market works. Uh, we know you're busy. Not as busy as you expect. Uh, why I should watch the two of you work more, if anything? Yeah, Cat Cafe! I think... Wait. I think we have one, but... Because it's like so far away from my place. I don't even know where it is, but I do know like KK has one in Saba. Ugh, I do want to as well. Bring all my bringing friends, my sister, I guess. Since we like cats. Okay, so. Please, food. Um, hello. Wait, what am I gonna do? What, what, what am I doing right now? Oh, wait, hold up. Did I check the menu? Feline favor. Unlocks the feline favor. Uh. <gasps> ah, the cute kitty noises. Okay, reach friendship. We've gained 25 points. Okay. Oh, okay. Go! Yes, fine. There was one here too, but it closed down. Oh, no! Oh, COVID. Oh, those days, man. I hate it. Oh, okay, that's weird. I tried to place it, but couldn't. Gentle tea time. <gasps> Let's go. A reminder. Too early for a hint. Oh, that's a hint. Okay. Ooh. Durability... Wait, what this? Oh, that's too much. Oh, perfect. It had hints funny. I know, right? I was like, what's the, what's the left directional button? Aesthetics... Wait, who, which one has, like, a lot of durability? Oh, but it has to be perfect, right? What about... Oh, this is too much comfort. Uh... That's too much. Wait, so can I not balance everything out?
No more, no less. Try everything until they fit. Oh, really? That's what I'm trying right now, but... It's like, uh... Yeah, too much comfort. Okay, that one is aesthetics. Oh! Okay. Why does it have hints? <laughs> when you can just trial and error. Oh, oh, I wanna take a pic! I wanna take a pic! Man, if only this highlight thing is not here. Ugh, it's hurting my eyeballs. Okay, Lumine, look over here. Look at it before. This is our first cat cafe uh, trial uh, trial event. Okay, let's feed. I want to give them meat. They deserve all the uh, uh, snow white. <gasps> oh! <gasps> Play! Play. You can select a cat from the throne of Meower. Oh yeah, the big sofa is just for them. God bless. Uh, trusted, cherish, inseparable. No, no. Okay, the eight points where you can pet the cat are. Oh right, ear, left ear. Oh god, maybe I should take a picture with my phone. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, just to be extra, extra about it. Hello, Haru. Hello. Time to pet cats. Time to pet cats. Okay, I swear to god, did I silence my phone? Yes. Okay, so... Press in order to pet the cat. If you pet the right, uh, where the cat... Like, it's okay. There's like a... Soft spots and no-no zones. A spot that displeases the feline. Okay. Oh, I don't want to make it angry. Uh, putting the same part will cause friendliness to increase by less and less. Oh yeah, we have to change it up. Uh, as such, you must adjust your approach. Okay, after you have switched up the places. Okay. We'll reset across the body parts. Oh, we'll reset across all the body parts it likes to be petted. Okay, let me let me let me digest that. Repeatedly petting the same part. Yes, repetition is a no-no. As such you must adjust okay different spots. After you have switched up the places you are petting in a certain number of times, this cat's rate of fri uh, friendliness uh, increase will reset across the body. Okay. So once the cat's friendship level has increased to the next stage, uh, areas where it did not enjoy being petted may change. And it may now permit you to pet it in new places. Oh god, okay. Now the pressure is on. Am I a cat pleaser? Oh, you, you! I wanna pet... I wanna pet the head. Oh! I'm sorry! Pet vigorously. No! I, I made it angry! Oh god, oh god. Where, where's my phone at again? I forgot, I forgot my training, my, my two minute training now. Okay, so ears, face. Wait, did I pet the ears? Oh my god, now I'm pressured. Um. <gasps> oh, you like that? You like that, don't you? Oh, you're so cute, you're so pretty, snowball. Oh, you like feet! Okay, let me... Let me pet your... Let me pet your front paw. Your right paw. Oh! Oh, so cute! I hope my... My my real life cat is not jealous of this. I mean, he's like... He's already snoozing in my parents' room. So I'm, so I'm assuming I'm safe. Oh, you like the chest? Let me touch... Can I touch your face? Oh, can I touch your face? Oh, yo! Oh, yo! Oh! Ah! 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 Oh, yeah. oh, wait. Can I touch your ears now? <laughs> no! Okay, okay. I won't. Okay. So, maybe your tail. Do you like your tail being petted? Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. So, I guess... Ooh. So, you like your... Your... Let me try your sides again. Oh, okay. Then... Oh, okay. Ah! Uh. Trying to act cinder around me, huh? Oh, okay, okay. okay um... Paw? It's okay, ears are no-no for you. 
cherish friendship. You can make claim the rewards. I wanna pet you more though. Can I pet your nose? Your whiskers, your cheeks? Ah! So, okay, it's cherish. So, can I rub your... Can I? Can I? Okay, okay. Oh, 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 oh! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I just like... I thought... Okay, so ears are a no-no zone for you. Noted. Noted. Okay, let me... Let me rub your chest. No, ha, ha. Maybe your tail again? Oh, right. I forgot. Okay, no tail! No tail! No tail. Come on, me. Wake up. Wake up, me. Okay, wait about your paw. Your tan. I don't want it to be inseparable. Can I go to your sides? <gasps> 40! Ah! Oh, I want to give it a belly rub, though. Oh. Can I touch your left paw? Oh, I want your right paw. Oh, okay. So, it's, it's redundant now. Can I touch your... Oh, wait. No tail. No tail! Your sides? Yes! Oh, shut it! Can I take a picture? Yes. Oh, you're so cute. Baby Wub. If only we can do that. Okay, I'm just gonna do this. Oh my god. If my cat... If our cat saw this, it's gonna be so angry, I bet. I've seen clips. Joyful session! Oh. What the hell? Hello? <laughs> Mona, what the hell are you doing? Sneaking up on me, that's rude. But hello. What the hell? I saw Rosario, but then I'm like, Mona, hello? So wait, they're just chilling here every time after you, like, uh, befriended a feline companion? That is so, uh, <laughs> that is so random. Mona has mastered stealth. You think she's only like a astrologist, huh? Well, little did you know, she actually took some lessons from Rosaria in her free time. Okay, wait. Oh, I kind of want to talk to Rosaria. Wait, or should Mo Mona first? I guess Mona. Hey, what are you doing here? <laughs> what, meow. Uh, ayo, ayo. Kitty person? Is this really how cats greet one another? I wonder if my pronunciation's on point. Oh my god! It just occurred to me! There was that one girl in Sumeru, right? Who talks... God, the commission where you need to, like, uh, find her cats, but then you have to meow in a certain way for her to, like, uh, call out to the cats. Oh, I think I already got an achievement for that one. Yeah, this, yes, they have their own language. They understand. Snowball. Meow! Hey, Paimon. Looks like Snowball didn't understand even a whisker. Wow, okay, Paimon. Mona, are you trying to speak cat? Professor Magistus, that is not how you pronounce it. <laughs> I try roaring at it like roar. Man, do I wanna... Do I wanna tease her about it? Uh, this event to me is 8.5 pretty good in terms of animation. The story is fine. Okay, hello, Black Wolf. Hello. New commission pop, uh, popped up on the first and second day. <laughs> Coincidence? I think yes. Man, do I want to try roaring at it like uh, like Rar? Hoya first knows what's up. Oh, there's also that one time with the fungi event. I got that one... Not not commission at least, like that random random, uh, random event where that guy was like... St studying about fungi or something, but then it took like a darker turn or something. Like the context. Uh, okay. <laughs> what about Roar? Hey! Roar sounds more like a tiger or a lion. That's a way to frighten Kitty and turn it into a scaredy cat. I c I'm sorry, but I just want to tease Mona about it. I didn't expect you to reply. Hey, Mona. Sab, Paimon. So the rumors were true. You really are working at the Furball Fortress. Oh, I want to take a screenshot, though. Hey, Paimon. Um, working prob probably isn't the right word. We're helping Valerina and Rosaria out, so we're more like consultants. Yeah, that's it. Being called a consultant sounds really impressive. <laughs> okay, Paimon. By the way, great astrologer Mona, are you looking to adopt a cat to assist you in your astronomical observations? Mona, based on my understanding of astrology, it shouldn't be too hard to teach a cat to read various aspects. Ooh. Oh! Various aspects of the stars. I might even teach one to help me write manuscripts. 
Please do. Steely Pickett Snowball. Oh you fancy this white cat? Please adopt her, Mona. I'm on boldly stairs to the snowball. What? Paimon, are you the alpha? Snowball. Mew! Okay, Mona. <coughs> on second thought, maybe not. One who can only read the stars but is ill-versed at stringing words together would not suffice to convey my illuminating insights. If I really needed an assistant, it would be better just to take a trip to Fontaine and recruit some staff member from the Steamboat or find a Millicene who can use a typewriter and bring them back to Mons Lab. I mean, you have Fischl. Were I to really adopt a cat, at most it would be to play with it a bit, to relax and relieve the stress from the exhaustion of academic inquiry. That's a valid reason, Mona. Cats. Cats makes us happy. One mustn't be a bad owner. When you get tired, it would be best if the cat is tired enough for a cat nap as well. Man, they even just like... Like a basic 101 for those who wants to take care of cats. Who wants to... I mean, who somehow wants to one day like get a cat of their own okay before i set foot in here i never imagined hanging out with cats would be such a joy ah, how wonderful life would be if we could always be happy like this oh you and me both moda okay paimon <laughs> looks like you're going to be a really constant uh conscientious owner guess this cat's gonna be in fine hands Hey, Mona. But I've also heard that some cats can be quite rambunctious always jumping around biting and clawing the furniture Imagine my manuscripts or the astrology tomes ruined by feline canines. <laughs> That'd be troublesome indeed. Oh yeah, that's also like... Uh, yeah, we need to look at the personalities too. Paimon, making a snack out of precious books? Paimon can barely imagine something so terrifying. No animation in dialogue. I know they're talking about moving the camera. It's just getting all in repetitive. Okay, Mona. Snowball. Uh, Snowball looks quite well behaved, but seems not to comprehend my meaning. Perhaps we lack that special connection. Oh, yeah. No imprintment? Okay, Mona. So, I would like to observe a bit more. You know, keep an eye out for obedient cats. Yes, you should. Find the one that suits you. Oh, and I must calculate the cost of, uh, cost of a cat bed, cat food. Oh, and other ex expenses. Oh, my gosh. Not to look too luxurious, but also not too shabby. Hey, Mona, you're rich, though. Wouldn't do to submit the cat to hardship. It's okay, take your time. There are many more furry felines in this fortress. Hey, Paimon. Yeah, Valerina said that she'll adopt even more strays in the future, so even if no cats catch your eye today, you can always come back often to play and have a look. Snowball. Meow! Man, so cute! Oh, she's still here. Oh, is it still the same? Okay, nice. Mm, well, I do find inspiration sometimes when I play with the cats. But as I do, I find motivation. Uh, I find my motivation to write waning. On the other end, you're always raring to go every time I see you. It's almost as if you're simply inexhaustible. I'm inexhaustible in Genshin, but in real life, you're gonna see me lying around bed, around my bed, so tired, getting old. Okay, hold on. We're not workaholics either. Are the manuscripts being difficult lately? Okay, there's like a lot of options, so might as well. Hey, okay, Paimon. Yeah, we're always traveling, so we don't do too much exhausting work. Okay, no wonder if I... I guess, I guess you skip through everything and then just like pet the cat, so it only took you like 30 minutes to do everything. <laughs> so I can't see that. Even Mona has like three different dialogue options, so this is gonna take a while for me. Okay, but when I dropped by the steamboat before to take care of some things, I noticed an editor compiling mountains of notes. Okay, hundreds were related to a blonde traveler. Ew, my reputation possesses me. Destroying the puffer fruit floating here and there, defeating monsters and bandits up and down the line, escorting masterless cargo through dangerous areas, saving Fontaine from like getting drowned. And every and every seven days, taking care of commissions from ordinary citizens of this completely dangerous bounties. Okay, getting self-aware here. Hello. Your weekly workload is practically 40 to 70, uh, 70 times that of some elite adventurers. Some people even ask for star readings to predict when you're uh, when you'll arrive so just they can hire you. Oh my god, Paimon. Ah, huh, so we are we actually that hardworking and popular? Mona, if you could apply that same in industriousness to helping me write articles, I mean, I would provide a detailed summary and the underlying theoretical basis, and you would just help me put it on paper. I mean, put it to paper. 
We could probably publish hundreds of papers in a year. No, we'd be able to publish a slew of books with tons of time to spare. Great, and what my cut would be. Oh my gosh, Lumine. Oh. Counting down the numbers, huh? My handwriting isn't exactly the prettiest, but yeah. What would my cut be? Hey, man. Uh, I was not sure you'll get paid all that much for your writing anyway. Would there be enough left if we split the proceeds? Proceeds. Hey, Mona. We split it down the middle regardless of the amount, of course. With my brains and your tireless, to uh, tireless toil, it would be a completely fair arrangement. Okay, the more we write, the more we'll sell and the greater the reader uh, readership. The income will naturally grow substantially. Oh, I've prepared a, a whole bunch of uh, thesis. So many that I'd not run out of material even if I proceeded to take an ideal... I mean, to proceed it at an ideal pace for several years. I'll wager that plenty of those articles will end up being cited and utilized by academic community. And oh, those licensing fees will be glorious! That's where you get your money, Mona. Anyway, if you're willing, then we can discuss the details once I finish preparations. Who knows, perhaps we'll become an ace astrology arrangement with the highest proportions of thesis contributions. Okay, uh... Okay, so are the manuscript, uh, manuscripts being difficult lately? Difficult is not the phrasing I'd use, not ideal in quant quality perhaps. Though the results of my astrological observations are crystal clear and in my mind is e and my mind is equally sure about how it wants to convey them. I just can't uh, put quail to paper. If I were to put out something wishy-washy under these circumstances, the quality would not be worthy of the name of Mona Magistus, the astrologist. Paimon. Ah, so it's not just a uh, burnout, but the high expectations you have for yourself. Oh, oh, that's a big mood. Okay, yes, and it was at such a moment that I happened to hear about the trial opening of the Furball for, uh, Fortress and thought I'd come and try relaxing a bit here. You know, get myself back in the right state of mind and then spook me out of nowhere popping up behind me unannounced. But after playing with the cats, I found that I was too relaxed while the study of the stars and penning papers requires a certain seriousness. Oh my god, this is, there, there are sometimes, there's instances where I'm like uh, doing work at at home and then our cat's just like meow 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 pay attention to me pay attention to me and then suddenly half half an hour later i just realized wait i i i spent 30 minutes just with the cat and not doing my work <laughs> oh the power they have man the power they have okay so yes that's only normal okay maybe you just haven't played enough if you cut playtime short and force yourself to work, it's no surprise that you won't be able to focus. Paimon has a great point too. Just don't think about anything, empty your head completely and just take a nap when you tear yourself out from playing. You'll definitely be a full, uh, be full of energy and enthusiasm the next day. I mean, even though they just like uh, throwing this type of dialogue around like, Yeah, don't force yourself too much, you need to take a break. But it's also like a great reminder, not gonna lie. Sometimes I too forget to like take care of myself. So thank you, Genshin. Thank you for this. That would be ideal anyway. But if you, but what if you still just want to have fun? <laughs> what did I say earlier? In my story, Mona. Ah, uh, yeah, you do have a point, Paimon, which does fit with another possibility, which is that the current curse of fate has yet to come into contact with some key factor. Deadlines are fixed, but days suited to important work are, fre uh, are flexible. We must wait for the crucial sign. Oh, this speaks to me out loud. Deadlines are fixed, but days suited to important work are flexible. Yeah, true. That's why every time when I get like a new assignment for work, I would work on it immediately. Okay, but for now, I shall follow your advice and stop thinking. I'll continue enjoying myself here in the Furball Fortress. Yes, like how I am right now. I am getting well fed. Who knows, the sign that I should pick up my pen just might come tomorrow. Man, such a mood, Genshin. Thank you for the for the reminder of all of this. Yeah, thank you too, Mona. Thank you for this very enlightening uh, conversation. Oh, so part 2 is here. So are they just gonna stay here? Oh dear, adding any missions during dialogue will just make things even more slower. Look at Hester Star can probably skip dialogue because it takes <laughs> for them to move their arm when talking. <laughs> <laughs> Not even the skip dialogue, literally done reading a line, but gotta wait for them to finish turning their head a degree higher before we can move the dialogue along. Annoying. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the gripes with uh, Honkai Starrell. But yeah, to each his own. 
I mean, I already played Genshin for like nearly three years, so I don't really mind at all. Even sometimes I forgot to like fill in the surveys every now and then because... Yeah, it's a big game, so they they like have so many things to consider in mind. I mean, uh, have so many things to consider when they're like uh, trying to plan out new uh, new updates or something, new QLs. Not playing with the cats, or do you have a takeout order for me to take care of? Okay, what do you think of this job? <laughs> wow. Okay, the first question. So he's like, are you? Uh, what do you? What are your thoughts, Rosario, about this? Okay, you didn't seem to play with the cats much. Do you find this boring? Well, not really. She managed to make Snowball love her. It's alright. Boring and interesting are relative. I don't anticipate any major incidents or accidents occurring here. It's a very ordinary job. A little different from staying at the church. Uh, no, there are some differences. Some of these cats are very clever and they understand me just fine. I find interacting with them very interesting enough. And even though Valerina is quite similar to Victoria in the way she finds things for me to do, they do have very different ways of doing things. It's a fresh experience, I suppose, and that in itself is new. It's not a bad feeling. Paimon, well, that's great. Paimon thinks you get along pretty well with the uh, with Valerina and the cats, really. You'd be great buddies for sure. Rosaria, thank you, and I hope things stay that way. Yeah, she might not look like it. I mean, like... On the outside. But she's a good person on the inside. Which cat do you like the most? Oh, wait, I can ask? Yeah, come and curious too. Uh, curious too. Have you ever found a cat that you'd like to get close to or wanted to take good care of? Rosaria. Uh, that's rather sudden, but I suppose it's natural for people to be curious about things like that. I mean, yeah, I just want to get to know you better. Rosaria. I would say no. For now, right? Paimon. Wow, that was quick. Yeah, I knew it. Different people have their own definitions of the word, uh, of the word like. Yeah, you do you. To me, right now, there's no living being or object I find of in those terms. That said, it's about the same for things I dislike. My willingness to take care of these cats to spend my time on them is because it's my job. It's a requirement. Or should I say that it's a problem before me that requires little effort on my part to solve? So why not? Mm. If nothing else, this job's presented me with some pleasant surprises. I'd consider that good enough. Paimon. Uh, Paimon didn't really get that, but it sounds positive. <laughs> like, every time when when, it, when a character like talks really deep, and then Paimon be like, Um, Paimon doesn't get that, but it sounds good. <laughs> Paimon doesn't get that, but... I feel like you said the right things. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, don't worry, I didn't get it either. No worries, my one. I'll understand Rosaria for the both of us. Okay. Uh, don't overthink it. Life's like a placid lake most of the time. You just need to get used to it. Oh, uh, another life lesson from Genshin. And if you can't, I'm sure someone of your ability can change all you see before you. Good luck either way. <laughs> Thank you. I need all of them interactions. I guess I'll leave you to it. Sure, come find me if you need anything. Bye. So are you just chilling here? Can I play with the cat again? One last time. I just wanna like virtually pet it. I don't wanna like uh, touch it directly. Oh, such a cute cat. Such a cute snowball. Okay. I am pleased. I am satisfied. Okay, next one. Next stage. Let's go. Okay, let's just wing it. Ooh! I just realized this. I saw this like a crown and then I'm just like, Oh my god, Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts is light. Oh, that's too much. I guess... Ooh, aesthetics is a lot. So close. Yet so far. I guess we can do this like this. That's too much comfort. Oh, but I guess... Oh, wait, I bet. Either crown... Uh... Wait, that's too much comfort. But either, I guess... Yeah, I was about to say, because... Oh, okay, I thought, like, from the power of deduction, like... The different uh, icons, I mean, like, comfort... And then durability. 
Like it can be like a different, but I never thought it's gonna be like oh the same one, like two aesthetics, two durability. But okay, I'm just rambling too much. So let's just go. Next cap, next cap, let's go. So fancy. I'm just gonna give meat as I said. A green white cap. <gasps> oh, ayo, ayo, many forty. God, imagine if we cannot. I mean, like. Imagine, not only if we, if we can pet them, but what if we can like uh, play with the toys and such. Oh my gosh! Playing with the stick or uh, what do you call those with the... with the... with the rope. Oh, so cute, man. You must me of my... of my late cat. We do had like a gray and black cat before, but that was like many, many years ago. But it grew old, so of course... Uh, it had moved on to a better place. So you remind me of our old cat. Loki. Oh! Yeah. Yeah. Even like, uh... I guess our like first generation cats. Were, we used to like take care of like long haired cats. So the progenitors, like the main... Uh, first, uh, first tree, I guess. Family tree. There was one is like a called Inukshuk, like it's based on like an Inuit uh, name, and then the other one where we pair her up with is Miatok. It's like basically it's also like an Inuit name, but basically he's like a mix of a not a Persian per se, but like a Maine Coon. I, I guess Maine Coon and Persian like a weird fusion. <laughs> but yeah, after that they had babies. So we had like a two, like the second gen, we had like three kitties. So two of them were gray and white and black, like this cute little cutie right here. And then the other one was like a uh, funny enough. Oh, no pause. But yeah, funny enough uh, was like a uh, yellow. <laughs> so the, G the genetics jumped around somehow. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I was just reminiscing about our, about our old cat. So do you like ear? You're petting, yeah, I know you do. Because you're sensitive uh, on the body. Yeah, they also had like green eyes. Usually like gray, the ones where we, where we, uh, I mean, my god, I can't even like words properly. They had gray eyes, basically. But then before, we usually, oh, sorry. We usually like kept them in cages, but then we like felt bad. So we decided to like let them out. Because yeah, it's like a... Like back in the day, those type of cats with like a rare breed types. Uh, we do need to like super... Uh, take care of them. Uh, more like carefully. God, I can't even like form my words because I'm trying to m multitask by reminiscing our old cats. And then just like gotta, gotta impress good kitty here. Oh, so cute. Man, kind of bittersweet, like, uh, to be reminded of them as well. But hey, at least they're in a better place now. Oh, okay. You had more than enough? Okay. Oh, wait, um, but you're sensitive, though. I can't, right? Yeah, I can't. Ten. 40. Nice. So, right here? Oh, guys. Okay, I guess I can pet you on the nose. Can I? Okay, zero. Nice. Okay. Okay, who's gonna pop up behind me? <laughs> Scaring me again. Who? <laughs> oh. Who next? <gasps> oh, Amber! Oh, oh, she's bent! Bending down. Like, squatting now. Bending. Why do I say bending right now? Oh yeah, but the previous cat before, we never had like a pure white cat. We o we always had like a mixed in color type of cat. Like a Calico, like uh, the two-tone ones as well. Can you believe that our house our house usually had like uh, 12 to 13 cats back then? But then, it, but then we only have like the one right now. It's okay, Amber, what's up? Amber, meow, 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 meow. Bunny, meow, 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 meow. 
why you're called Bunny? Paimon, mm, both, in, both Bunny and Ember have a point. Wow, Paimon. Not only she can understand Ben Ben, but she can only understand the... <laughs> why don't you help me with that commission? With the Sumeria commission, are you kidding me? Okay, so that's it. A most astute observation. Hey, okay, Paimon. Mm, actually, Paimon doesn't really get it either, but she can tell that Amber and Bunny have reached an understanding. They have reached an accord. Hey, Amber. Sub, Paimon, you, you're you here. I was I was just thinking about looking, going to look for you. I've already heard all about your uh, how you're helping Valerina with the Furball Fortress. That's the sub and Paimon for you. The second you're back in Mondstadt, you're already being such a huge help. <laughs> I mean... Varina was like desperately seeking us for help. I mean, like the advice that was given to her was like, "Yeah, seek out, uh, seek out Traveler and Paimon." Okay, okay. I, the honorary knight, will fulfill my mission no matter its nature. Okay, the defense of the cats of Monset is one of my many responsibilities. Paimon, uh, speaking of which, what were you and Bunny discussing just now? You seem to be uh, having a really fun conversation. Hey, Bunny. Mew. Okay, Amber. Oh, I was just ask asking Bunny about the weather and whether or not it would rain. And then funny enough though, like coincidentally enough, like Baron Bunny, Amber, no wonder they vibe well. I mean, don't pull out, don't pull out Baron Bunny right now, Amber, or else. Okay, Paimon. Huh? Do cats know that kind of thing? Amber. <laughs> Lisa said something about that. According to a book she read, cats are very sensitive to, hum to humidity and don't like the feeling of being wet. Of course. So if they notice a sudden increase in the humidity, they'll start uh, they'll start nervously pawing their faces and licking their fur. Oh dang, even like a... Uh, hey, did you know cats have this uh, type of behavior when something happens? Okay, Amber. Once a cat does something like that, it's a sign that a large rainstorm is likely on its way. I need to pay attention too for our cat. Paimon. Whoa, Paimon had no idea. That's so cool. Guess we just learned something amazing by accident. By coincidence. Okay, Paimon. In that case, Sub, let's pay more attention to cats during our travels. That way, we won't keep getting soaked by huge downpours from all those big black clouds. Yeah, I suppose we'll have to pay more attention going forward. Since when haven't I paid close attention to cute kitties? Well, except for the fact that sometimes I didn't notice when there's like a random cat in the overworld and then I accidentally just like attack them. I didn't see them. I swear I'm sorry. But I know Dia remembers that one time I bullied a dog in Leeway. Hey Amber, I originally came here to ask Valerina about something. But just as I was talking to her, this little kitty snuggled up close to me and yawned so loudly. It was just so too cute. Since she was so affectionate towards me, then well, then I need to show how friendly I, w I am too. That's when I remembered what Lisa told me, so I went ahead and asked Benny about the weather. But she responded by rubbing her face, then wagging her tail, and lying on the ground, snuggling against my hand. Man, she really does have astute uh, observation. But I guess because she's a... Wait, what's that term? What's that term again? What's that term again? Like the glider? What was her title again? I forgot. I'm sorry. But yeah, she has to have such an astute observation. Okay, Amber. Uh, so, is it actually going to rain or not over the next few days? God, I'm praying like here, at least in my area, it's raining. Oh, Amber, let me talk to you, girl. Okay, uh, doing such a great job managing this place. Okay, as long as you're enjoying yourself, Amber. Paimon, that's right. Valerina also orders from, uh, orders good from, orders food from Good Hunter. So, Amber, you can stay here and play when you're on vacation. Oh, speaking of work, have you finished all your recent missions, Amber? When you were asking Bunny about the weather, was it because you have to go out on gliding patrol soon? Okay, relax. No need to worry. Uh, I won't be going out on patrol today. I was just asking Bunny about the weather to make conversation. That's all. I'm here today for two reasons. First, to, sat to satisfy my own curiosity. And second, to help a friend. I have a friend who's very skilled at making handicrafts and used to make all kinds of toys for kitties and doggies. Aww. Many of the furnishings at the cattails were made by her. Oh, good job though. After I heard about the Furball Fortress, she contacted Valerina and supplied some furniture and toys. The very same ones you see here, in fact. Very neat. What? I didn't imagine that was the uh I didn't imagine was that Valerina couldn't bear to accept donations, and I insisted on paying her. Now that the fortress is a few days into its trial opening, my friend wants to understand whether or not the cats like her toys. Ooh, that's good too. Yeah, I need to do research. 
so you can improve your craft further. But she doesn't really have time and she doesn't understand cats very well either. So I'm here to help. Okay, so I'm here to conduct an on-the-spot inspection and the results are in. Full marks. Okay, if even the person uh, making cat toys can't communicate with them, how'd you manage it, Amber? You practice it with Baron Benny? <laughs> Amber, I don't know either. Maybe you're right, Seb. Those do both sound like good reasons, but maybe there's another. And that's my duties as an outrider. Oh yeah, thank you. Thank you for reminding me that. You're outrider. Outriders are different from scouts who need to both quickly obtain intelligence on the enemy but also strike first. Outriders need to do their best to stay out of sight and use every means at their disposal to gather intel. To stay out of sight. It would be fitting if she popped in behind me <laughs> compared to Mona. That was so left field. Uh, but man, the way she crouches uh, just to play with the cat, it's cute though. You do you, Amber. Sometimes the chirping of birds, the bouncing of squirrels, and the grunting of boars can tell me what I need to know about monsters. If I'm lucky, animals that are familiar with me will come up and warm, uh, warn me of monsters of their own accord when they see me in areas I often patrol. Are you a Disney princess? Whether they do it by chirping, bouncing, or grunting, they all mean pretty much the same thing. Oh, scary! There's a bad, uh, there's bad guys over there. Compared to those sensitive wild animals, the cats outside are really easy to communicate with. Never mind these super well-behaved little kitties in the furball fortress. Hey, Paimon, Paimon never imagined that outriders would have to master skills like those. If it was Paimon, she'd probably get dizzy just trying to listen for a little while. Amber, uh, oh, it's not some essential skill. It's just something I've picked up from my experiences. For an outrider, the most important skill to master is using a wind glider. On that note, Sab, your wind glider skills haven't gone rested in your long absence from Mondstadt, have they? No. Would you like to test me, though, if you doubt me? No, that's the spirit. That's what I like to see. The next time we meet, I'll be sure to give you a real test. If your skills are really are even sharper than before, I'll personally make you some sticky honey roast. Paimon, yay! Amber sticky honey roast! Let's find the time to practice a bit more soon, Sap. You gotta make sure you can back your boasts up. Boasts up. Okay, which other option? I'm sorry, I know you were crouching, but... Yeah, what kind of cats do you like, Amber? Me? I'm not really sure myself. Uh, each cat is cute in its own way, so it's really hard to compare. Okay, uh, Paimon. That's true. For color, build, for patterns, eyes, ears, there are combinations of characteristics beyond count. If Paimon had to choose, she would be able to pick up either. Amber. T uh, though when you put it that way, I don't think I've ever seen a red cat. I was about to say, what if a red cat? Just to fit your, uh, fit your ensemble. A pyro kitty? <gasps> Gaming has the... Oh god, what's the name again? Okay, Paimon. Not Manchao, oh my god, I forgot the name. Okay, Paimon. If they really were red cats, Paimon bets they'd be super energetic and wreck the whole house if they got upset. Wait! Okay, Linne? Okay, not gonna lie, yes. Lene, Lene, he has his, like, uh, cat tricks. I don't know. Okay, Amber. Well, Teva's a big place. You can find all manner of amazing and mysterious things here. What if... What if... What if this is, like, breadcrumbs for a future Natlin character? Like a pyro cat? Just think about it. There are slimes of all different elements and colors. So maybe there are cats with all sorts of fantastic and exotic colors in some places we've never heard of. I mean, there's a red, very red weasel in the chasm if I remember correctly. Or, or is it Sumeru? Okay, Amber. Yeah, you know, the Grand Master's really experienced and knowledgeable. So maybe he's uh, seen some during his travels. Once he comes back, let's find an opportunity to sit down and talk together. We can hit, uh, we can ask him then. Nice. It's okay, last dialogue option. Thanks for the compliments. Yeah, but don't forget to rest. Try not to tire yourself and Paimon out. Oh, just like Mona. Don't forget the rest, guys. Okay, let's go on the third cat. Oh! <gasps> I accidentally spoiled myself. Yeah. This does look like the TCG. I just realized this is this is cat tail, basically, right? Is except it's just, it's just for cats. Oh my god, I just realized. Okay, so let's go next. Third stage, let's go. Okay, ooh. Ooh, okay, that is way too much. Oh, oh! Oh, we need the all the all the comfortable furnitures we can get. 
Men so close. <gasps> so perfect. Nice. Requirements met. Ooh, a Fontanian cat. Look at all the Fontanian furniture. Okay, what's your color gonna be? All the red meats. <gasps> Smoky! Let's go play. Aww. Yeah, we don't even... We, I don't think we ever had like a full... As I said, like a full fur... Uh, like no patterns at all type of cat. But okay. What are your weaknesses? Can I pet your tail? Oh, you like the tail! Okay, let me thread this carefully. Do you like the face? You like to be pet on the face? Ah, oh, So cute. Okay, do you want a chest rub? Oh, you like that too? Ah. Oh. So I feel like you don't like your feet being touched, I'm assuming. Let me try your... ears. Oh, oh, so you're like the first cat. Okay, noted. Okay, what about your left? I mean right paw. Oh, you like the right paw. Kind of like the first cat, Snowball, then. Oh, he's making dough. He's cooking right now. Let him cook. Wow. Wow. Meow. 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 Okay. Can I... Oh, right. No sides. Okay. I'm sorry, kitty. Yeah, kind of like Snowball, right? Doesn't... Okay, except he doesn't like the sides. So, chest rub is fine. Paw is great. Yes, make dough. Go and make dough. Oh, if only we can, like, uh... Use toys. Oh, no ears. Oh, wait. Wait, ears? Okay, no ears, right? Like the face, so... Wait, can I... Still no sides, right? Okay, so you're... Okay. More open. Okay, so you're kind of like Snowball. Doesn't like the ears that much. Okay, I'm just gonna pet you where you like. Nice. Final chest. Grab. Pat, pat, pat. Good cat. Good kitty cat. Okay, see you later. Thank you. Sorry for making you angry. Hi, <gasps> oh, oh, great cat. A razor out of all the people. Where the hell is Diona, man? Hello. <gasps> razor. Oh, it fits. The gray wolf. Let's go. Oh, Razor. Let's go. Let's talk. Oh, he's just sitting on this stool. So cute. Oh! Meow. Oh, dust ball. Meow. Razor, it's me. It's you. Me. I'm talking. Come on. Talking, Razor? Are you talking to dust ball? Dust ball. Meow. Meow. <coughs> 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 Okay, Paimon. It seems like Dustball is trying to say... That's right. Razor. A familiar scent. Looking for friends. It is good. Happy. Dustball. Meow. 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 Razor. Friends followed the scent. You came too. Happy. On your body. The smell of wind and rain. Very familiar. The scent of cats. Also familiar. Paimon, very sweet scent. Smell good. Okay, at least for a razor. I can read <laughs> I don't know why, but sometimes the long-winded dialogues, I can like, uh, somehow misread. But then, razor just like, easy brain. I'm like, okay. Paimon. Eh? Sweet? Could that be the flavor of the pancakes Valerina gave us? The, the, um, did Paimon eat that many? Wow, she's self-conscious right now. Good for you. I gave you half of my portion, remember? No, said so you can still eat triple over <laughs> chewing before! <laughs> hey, Paimon. Really? Paimon didn't even notice. Mm, it's all Pancake's fault for being so delicious. <laughs> and Paimon also wants to eat sweet madame, steaks, and hash browns. <gasps> and drink some apple cider. And then don't forget Amber's honey sticky roast. Paimon. Okay, this is a menu for the next meal then. Come on, sup. Let's go place our order with Ballerina. You come too, Razor. Yeah, Razor is Lisa's apprentice. Razor, thank you. 
I mean, thank. Thank you. Yeah, it makes sense he, he would be stopping by here, Razor. Dust Balls has brought me lots of pets and meat boxes. I am very full. Simon. Sounds like Farina ordered delivery then. Did Dust Ball deliver the food to you, Razor? Dust Ball. Mar, mar, mar. I'm on. I would never imagine that the cats would actually end up taking care of the customers here in the Furball Fortress. <gasps> Good cat. Hey, Paimon. Looks like you really are the cat's meow, eh, Razor? <laughs> Goodbye, Razor. Seeing Lupico, I am happy. Oh, family! Okay. Razor, are you acquainted with Dust Ball? Man, he, because he doesn't talk much, he only has like two dialogue options, which is very cute. Sleeps outside city wall. Takes me there. Very comfy. It has many friends. Many outside city. Starving? No! So you help them? You help them, Razor, of course. Inside the city, there's food. Me. Hunting. There's food. Aww. Paimon. Oh, so you already made friends with Dustball outside the city. Yeah, sounds like you do have a quite, uh, quite a few friends out there. Besides Bennett. Okay, Paimon. Then they deliver the food out to their friends outside. Why don't those little cats just come inside the city? Sure, the walls might be a little high, but there's a shelter from the wind and rain and plenty to eat. I mean, there's a gate. There's a freaking big gate. Why would you say that, Paimon? The key razor. They're like butterflies flying high. They don't like places without wind. Oh, okay. Makes sense. That's what different. Like more people. Oh, people friendly. The key razor. He wants to give food to friends. His friends like human food. Hey, Paimon. They like human food, but don't want to live in the city? Those are some pretty fickle cats. But what if it's something more? If it means something more. Okay, Razor. Uh, he wants to bring friends inside. Use food. Bring them inside. Convincing cats to come inside with food. <laughs> Man, this cat is smart. That actually might do the trick. Paimon, but if we bring all those cats over here from outside, will the Furball Fortress be able to handle it? If this place was really filled to the brim with all kinds of cats, Valerina would be really happy, but the fun's might. Razor, cats good. Food, uh, food good. Hungry, bad. I will help. <gasps> oh, Razor, oh, doing good for the cause. Okay, anyway, we should make sure that the cats are fed first. Paimon. Yeah, no matter what, we should take care of delivering the food before anything else. If only we could convince them to come live in the city. City. And we need to explain things to Valerina. I guess if they live in the city outside, they would have like a proper shelter. Okay, Paimon. That's right. After all, the costs of running this furball fortress are all coming right out, out, of, out of our pocket. Hey, Razor. How are the ca uh, cats outside the city doing right now? Hey, Razor. Past few days brought food to friends. Now, they're not hungry. Aw, they have an ample supply. Paimon. Phew, that's a relief. Now that we don't have to worry about the cats suffering from hunger pangs while we speak, we can go discuss this with Valerina. Yes. Yes, we should do more for the stray cats. Okay, Razor. Thank you, Lupical. When with you, no need to worry. Aw, so adorable. So cute. Okay, where is the next one? Wait, can I go upstairs? What's upstairs? Oh, of course. Why did I hope... Why did I hope that there's like something new? Ooh, okay. <laughs> Me black wolf. Doggos. You like doggos? I like both. Okay, so comfy. Not that much. Oh, so close. So either one... Oh wait, we don't have enough aesthetics though. So aesthetics, we need more crowns. Okay, but that is too much. So are we gonna change one of these? Or I guess... Oh wait, no. Okay, that one reaches comfiness, but... Oh, so close. Okay, we need more aesthetics, so... Oh wait, we have more though. Wait, we only have two aesthetics, really? Okay, what can balance it out? But this is too much comfort. Comfiness... Uh... 
Okay, Cavinus achieved, but durability. Oh, that is too much. So, what if I. Oh, we don't have enough aesthetics. Oh my god, so close. What am I missing? Happiness, durability. We need more aesthetics, though. Hmm. Seats. Wait, I score. I scrolled everything, right? Okay, this one adds less. Oh, but it has a little bit of aesthetics. Who has the lot? Who has the most aesthetics? This one. Oh, wait. Both. Comfiness. How do I reach aesthetics, man? Okay, comfiness achieved. Now it's durability, but then comfiness is too much. Oh wow, this this like takes me a while somehow compared to the previous one. What the hell? Durability. So I'm assuming the bottom one is fine, but... Too much. Ah, okay. Nice. Cat. Moo Moo, oh my god, Moo Moo, man, our late cat. Uh, for Moo Moo, technically they're like the fourth or fifth uh, for our family cat tree. Because as I said, Miyatuk Inikshuk first one and then the second batch was... Loki, Lilo, and Odin. And then the third one. Oh, right, Odin. After Odin, we got uh, Angus and then Horus. And then. Uh, yeah, I think this is like uh, Angus's child. But yeah, Mumu, aww. It really has this type of face, too, man. Such a cute cat. Okay. Oh, so cute, man. Oh, God. Playing this reminds me of our old cats, as I said. I can't. Bring some bittersweet emotions, but at the same time, uh, all the good ones as well. Man, what's that anime again that called? Uh, what's it called? The one with the the Makoto Shinkai one, the one that's like, oh, it devastated me so much, but it's so good at the same time too. It has like that bittersweet type of type of storytelling. Was it The Cat and Me or something, the title? I forgot. But they did like a remaster of it. The original was like a... A very old animation. But then when they made the remake, uh, it still hits hard. Is it Bakato Shinkai? Correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, no cat! No cat paw! Okay, so... Oh, I'm sorry, not the face. <laughs> okay. Cherish, nice. 
No. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just testing the waters. I'm not trying to make you angry. Oh yeah, no paw. I guess chest, sides, and then tail, and then chest again. Oh zero, sides. Can I pet your face now? Still no face. This is no, no, no consequences. Oh yeah, your ears. I forgot your ears. <laughs> okay, who next? Inseparable. God bless. Leave. Ah, <gasps> uh... there's your girlfriend outside, by the way. <laughs> Nice. Hello, Princess. It's been a while. It is I. Oh, ha, ha, ha. so this is the rumored secret land that people named the Furball Fortress, and yet it is furnished in such a pro uh, prosaic manner, shabby. One might even call it. Surely, a few swings woven from the vines of purple agate grapes might be built. Pure silver lamps mounted with candles made of abyssal sea salt. Uh, all the brighter to light the cat feeding platters with the motifs of nightborn stars. And yes, statues. Forging the image of cat familiars by melting the ve uh, venerable coinage of lost dynasties and adorning them with strange pearls and dewdrops from the depths of a, f of a ford. Uh, surely this would make for an amenable choice. If you piss it off enough, they actually leave you and have to start all, all over again. <laughs> oh my god, really? Oh. oh, okay, I don't want that. I'll try to avoid that for the last one. Okay, you surely must agree, do you not? You're familiar? Uh, you have yet to declare your name to your princess and think on that then. Uh, and you know, I mean, and know that it shall be your utmost honor to be known to her. Dopey. Oh, dopey. Meow. Paimon, his name is Dopey, esteemed princessin. Dopey isn't the brightest, and he can't really understand or appreciate your exquisite choice of words. Oh, he, Dopey should be with Razor then. Please show him clemency, princessin. Wow, Paimon, since when you, you're like Choni Bio right now. Hey, wait, that's not right. Why does Paimon get, uh, get like this whenever she sees special? It's official, you're a Choni Bio. Nothing wrong with that. Let me give you, uh, let me give it a whirl too. I, the great cat conjurer, sincerely pay my humble respects. Hey, official. Ha, huh, as I anticipated. Cat conjurers, thou had once more been brought before our august person by the weavings of the threads of fate. Tis a most pleasing reunion. Hey, Paimon, what a title. Looks like official heard about us from Valerina. Wow, now you can understand her too. Wow. By your counsel, much thought have I given a fleet with an immernectric. Oh god, I. <laughs> the last time I pronounced this was like during the archipelago with the immernectric to realize the ingenuities obtained from prior experiences, and I have decided to select the most sag sagacious and sensible of cat familiars to accompany my eminent person on my sojourns. Sojourns? Dopey. Huh? Hey, Hyman. Oh, so you were also planning on taking care of a cat, Fischl? Well. Understandable. Most people want to have their own after seeing just how adorable they are. Yeah, Paimon, but Fischl, don't you already have Oz? Yeah, where is he? And the two of you tend to move really fast. Can a cat keep up or are you gonna have Oz fly while carrying the cat? <laughs> oh, that would be a scene. Fischl, <laughs> Ah, the princess in their veril tailing of <laughs> often traverse 3,000 universes. Though such a journey may not be long, having more suitable companions and gaining insight into things easily overlooked naturally won't hurt. I mean, wouldn't hurt. Fischl, uh, Oz also would like to have a cat familiar to play. <laughs> uh, join forces with two guarantee that my mood shall shine bright as moonlight every second of every day. Yes, tis a shame that though Oz went to great plains to don a form that sets most at ease, he could not diminish his majesty fully and could not approach the cat familiars. Whenever dear Oz gets within five pieces of a cat familiar, their fur shall inadvertently, uh, inadvertently stand on end and inflate like a bloody floaty unmoored any closer, and terror overtakes them and they flee for the hills. Okay, official. The animal archons devoted and loyal nuns recommended that Oz uh, repose without, and as their advice was sound, I graciously assented. 
Oh, no wonder. Scared of cats. Paimon. Majesty. Oh, right. Paimon gets it. You will like the last cat. Oh, I hope so. You mean that Oz's body has so much electro energy that the second he enters the furball fortress, all the feline freak gets it, it, electrified, right? But if that's true, then how could a cat ever travel with you, Fischl? If only there was some material in the table that could block the effects of electro. I mean, there's those potions. Then we could make a cat clothes out of that material. Then the cat could travel with you and ask no problem. Give him rubber coats. He dopey. Mar? Give me, give it to me first. Those electro subs will be no match once I have done this panoply of war. Paimon. But now that Paimon thinks about it, elemental power is super duper mega strong. If there was a material that could just easily resist something as powerful as the elements, that would be too good to be true. We should probably uh, shouldn't stand around daydreaming. Okay, official. Ah, the naivete. Do not jump to judge a cat's familiar, I mean a cat familiar's talents through common sense. The semantic resources of mere mortal words struggle to accurately convey their properties. Oh, no, it's starting right now. Her fancy talk is making me tongue-tied. Okay, official. Perhaps somewhere in this world there exists a cat familiar that can dive deep into the depths, endure in an inferno, and ride upon the wind. Such a special entity would surely have no fear of thunder or lightning. So as long as I am patient in my search, I shall fight it. Forsooth, even if I should seek for ten thousand or, or a hundred, it shall be but a fleeting instant in the Immanactric. Additionally, the devotion to one's development in life is as, is as important as the innate nature one is born with. I see this dopey has immense potential. Perhaps after joining my retinue for a spell, it will become all the more familiar with the power of Electro. By happenstance, I, the princessin, have this se uh, disentangled a million myriad, uh, myriad menial affairs, thus allowing myself a tincture of time to spare. Perhaps then it shall not hurt in endeavoring to stay here and familiarize myself with these cat familiars, particularly this dopey. Dopey. Bow? Okay, Paimon. <laughs> now, Paimon hopes you'll have fun here in the Furball Fortress, Fischl. Yeah, where is Oz? Chillin. No need to tremble before the princess. You have done well indeed to take care of these cats familiar. I mean, cat familiars. Flawlessly, even. Keep up the fine work. As the princess in the Verte Lung, I shall remain here for a bit longer, reading the poetry of the soul of these feline familiars. Your Royal Highness, the princess in their very telung, how precedeth thy reading. Paimon. Yeah, Paimon's curious too. How are you uh, getting along with the cats? Did you find any special ones? <laughs> it has been just a few short days, merely a snap of the fingers, however, and our promising feline retainers are yet deep in preparation to display their prodigious capabilities before my royal person. Only this creature with a name most humble as though it was seeking to actively conceal its unique talents. This dopey has dared to respond to my tests and has proven relatively cooperative. Praiseworthy indeed! Paimon, wait, so the other cats just gave you the gold surely because they couldn't understand your, <laughs> your unique way of speaking? And only dopey is usually willing to spend time with you? Oh, dopey. Blasphemous. Slander. How could that be? Official. Ahem. Such topics are unworthy of further examination. Cat conjurers, the time has come for you to demonstrate your wisdom and offer up your counsel to mine august person. I am sure that by this time you have long since gained deep insight into all the habits and favorite uh, victuals fancied by the feline familiars here within the Furball Fortress. I mean, oh, so you just wanted to ask what the cats like to eat? That's an easy one. You sure are quick. T uh, you sure are. You sure are quick study. The moment you noticed the cats ignoring you, you immediately thought of using food to get close to them. A classic stratagem! Most wise main princessin. You described the food preferences to several cats. Oh, official. As expected, such an intricate formulation could surely only be mastered by you, my cat conjurer's most clever. To discern the potential of each of these feline retainers, I, the princessin, must also reveal a suitable skill amongst my talents unnumbered and show these cats the world. Yeah, Paimon. <laughs> Good luck, Fischl. So remember to exercise portion control. Even if it's their favorite foods, cats can eat too much. Don't let them pick out or waste food. <laughs> Gee. Stare. Stare. Hey, hey, why are you looking at Paimon like that? Paimon always orders what she, wa what she likes and finishes every morsel. She would never waste a crumb. Uh, at least, Paimon doesn't think she'll ever waste anything. As for picking out... Paimon may sometimes eat a bit more than usual, but... Da 
that really can't count as pigging out. Whatever you say, Baba, whatever you say. Okay, so... How has Oz been lately? Alright, uh, what's Oz been up to while we were playing with the furball fortress? Is he just waiting by the door? Or did he go outside the city by himself? Could that be dangerous for him? Michelle, do not jest. This is Oz we speak of. Oz Valdo Ravnavins, the beings who reign supreme over three universes. Surely you are not concerned for his safety. Hardly necessary, I do say. Even a, a hundred paces, a thousand paces, any harboring treacherous intent would be overwhelmed and overawed by the mysterious depths of his gaze, and would never dare to act rashly. In our journey throughout the ages, it is inevitable that Oz and I will sometimes act separately. When Oz is not at his place by my side, he prefers peace and quiet and will actively conceal his person rather than chat with mortals. Simply by observing the placid surface of a lake, Oz can sift through millions upon millions of memories and from them allow entirely new philosophies yet undreamed of to bubble up. This is one of his favorites pa uh, favorite pastimes. On a lake, huh? I don't think she gets it. He should be by Cider Lake. <gasps> is he? Cider Lake, somewhere we can't see, resting and enjoying the breeze. So you get to have fun in the Furball Fortress while Oz gets to treat himself, resting the way he likes. Seems like a good deal for all. Oh, you betcha I'm gonna check that out, Cider Lake. Very good indeed. Congratulations are in order. Michelle, naturally, I, the princess in the Veritalon, cannot linger here in this furball fortress for the pressing matters of many different worlds await the attention of Oz and myself. The next time I see you too, my good cat conjurers, I shall surely have sought out a cat familiar who fears not Oz's might and majesty. If only Kaching is an actual electro cat. That would be great. Okay. So then we shall continue to dedicate ourselves to the cause. Most excellent indeed. The cat families all applaud your amazing work. So Cider Lake, let's go. The problem is Cider Lake is so big. <laughs> uh, but you bet my ass I'm gonna search every nook and cranny. Let's go. Let's a side excursion before we go with the last one. Let's go. I mean, I managed to get... What's that girl's name again? I know Hanya. What's that other... The Inazuman girl? Because Hanya, like, from that, uh... Fungi event. The Fungi Mechanicus event. She was like, oh, uh... God, what's her name again? I forgot. I forgot! She said she was chilling around like Steambird. And then I just went there and then she's there. So I'm not gonna miss this out. <laughs> Even Pam was just like, oh, Cider Lake. Wait, what? He said the previous... Oh, really? <laughs> I, was, I was so gung-ho marking on the map even like... Okay, open my eyes. Oh my gosh, Gia, thanks for saving my time right now. Dang it. Like, I was like, I know Cider Lake and then I forgot. Oh, it's like a whole place. It's like a whole freaking place right now. But yeah, that's neat. An NPC hanging about somewhere. Character, I mean. Gotta nab them fishes. He's just chilling next to enemies, but I guess the enemies won't cause him problems. But okay, let's go. Yeah, this time is more like a mons that uh, concentrated events, right? Like the alchemy. We were here before. That was a good time. For me, because I love the fun management type of uh, event. Okay, bye. Ignoring you. <gasps> he chillin'! He chillin' in it. Okay, fine. You annoying, rambunctious. Kili churro. Ya yika ye dada. My god, he just chillin' for real. Ooh, I wanna take a pic. Oh, wait. Wait, there's only. Wait, what? Weird. Where's the big meat at, Churl? It's just you two. Wait, was there usually a camp here? I don't remember. Man, he's just chilling for the safety of the cats. That's cute. That's adorable. I guess this is what happens if you don't skip dialogues. <laughs> 
<laughs> but even though no, I, I, yes, I am self aware. Sometimes, even when I read dialogues, I sometimes miss the point. I do realize that. So it's worth reading every dialogue. Man, he's just sitting there di here. This is so weird. Hello, Oz. Oh man, too bad the zoom is like... Oh, it's not that bad. Nice. Okay, more close-up pick. Wait, can I do something like this? Can I stand in front of you? I want to make Lumine have like purple wings behind her back. Yeah. So wait, because I already activated Fischl, is Oz just gonna stay around chilling here? The fact that you swam instead. Yeah, because I'm too lazy to swap back to Lumine. <laughs> I know. I know you're gonna... Somehow I know you're just gonna chastise me on that. Oh, can I not? I wanna stand in front of you. Okay, never mind then. It's a hard feat to do. But okay, hello Oz. What are your thoughts? Sorry for bothering you. It is rare to have such leisure time. I wonder if Main Frolin is also enjoying herself. Aww. So, Oz seems to be resting. Best not to disturb him. Yeah, let's... Oh, wait. Okay, fine. I'll just... <laughs> I'll just do this for your sake. Oh. There we go. So, okay. One final cat. Let's go. Wait, I forgot to check the event page because I was too gung-ho. A certain special guest on the arrives at this furball fortress a short while into its trial operations, leaving Valerina in a panic. Oh! <gasps> Kit Kat. Oh, I didn't see! Damn, I was too gung-ho! Oh, I didn't read it too. A soft, white, fluffy little kitty. It may seem a bit timid at first sight, but once you become familiar, you will see just how friendly and warm it can be. So why not pluck up your courage? Try and get close and make friends with it. Okay, for Bunny. A gray and white kitty with black stripes that is nimble and intelligent. Uh, it seems to have all the energy and resources of a wild rabbit. If someone were to help tidy up the fur on its head and chest that has been messed up by running around everywhere, yeah, it would certainly be more grief, uh, most grateful. So there's obvious hints. A great cat with emerald, uh, with emerald eyes. I can't read. <gasps> I need to breathe. In fact, maybe I should drink water right now. Okay, so a great cat with emerald green eyes that possesses the grace of an aristocrat. If you want to build a re relationship with it, it won't hurt to imitate the mannerisms of an aristocrat. Uh, aristocrat. aristocrat. Aristo cat, Aristo crack. <laughs> the puns, the puns, man. I, I now I'm confused. Okay, we have to admit the mannerisms of an aristocrat and gently raise its paws in an invitation to dance with you. Ah, no wonder, like he, like he prefers the paws. Perhaps this can swiftly help the two of you grow closer. Okay, dopey, a brush and fearless black and white, uh, piebald cat that seems to be filled with curiosity, uh, curiosity about everything around it. No wonder he fancies Fischl. Others say that it likes to use its agile tail to express itself. Ah, okay, no wonder. Prefer the tail. Yeah, I should have read this. I thought so. There should be like a hint of how to tackle, how to pet them, how to... the stratagems of petting them. Oh, kitty. Nice, we can teleport. I just want to test it out. Okay, never mind. That was a lie. That was a blatant lie. I mean, blatant lie. I just want to take the long way. Okay, hello. Man, imagine if they made like a permanent thing and then there's like a proper uh, poster of it and everything. Do you have new things to... Oh, right. Okay, still the same. And I think Rosaria. I'm assuming Rosaria also has the same one. Yeah. Okay. So, our number one contender right now. Oh, not yet. Oh, do I have to do the thing? Uh, with the points. Uh, feeling fever. Go to quest. Oh, wait. Until the next day. Ow! 
Okay, certain special guest. Okay, I guess it's just... Uh, let's just go. Wait, play with who? Oh, is this uh, the special one? Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Uh huh. Okay, so let's just. Uh, is it 8? 8, 8 a.m.? <laughs> Two hours of streaming? Oh, you bet. If it's for our furry friends, you bet. And then all the dialogues, you bet. Okay, who? Oh, Eggy Boy. Oh, thank God. His voice acting. There's something almost dignified about him. He has a badge of honor. <gasps> After snowball? Oh. So big! ここさ。誰も君を傷つけたりしないわ。凶悪なものも。君に悪いことを教えるやつらも。みんな平の外よ。<笑> うるさくするの。だから肩の力を抜いてゆったり過ごしてみるのも悪くないと思うわ。ああ。も、もしかして本当に。ラファンディアウトサイド、ソフトオンディンサイド。<笑> オレンジのジュースみたいな色だぜ。ん?コーフをしてる。ヘロー。シドンのマークがついてる。Like yeah, exactly. Man, we are vibing right now, Paimon. You're getting much better with them, Rosaria. I got compliment her. <laughs> the fact that they're cute. Oh my god, how do I tame this little cutie? I mean, big chungus. I'm the one who's spitting it, Paimon. Interloper, bullfruit. I, I thought he was going to be the one sitting here, but okay. Oh, wait. This room. Look at him. Ah, so big. Oh, I need to get close. So weird. Okay, time to Ooga Booga. Too much. Durability. Yeah, I guess aesthetics. Okay, aesthetics is way too much. Big boy, yes! Big chunky boy! Oh. Uh, too much. Too low. Too much. Low. Okay, that one is aesthetics. There has to be uh Yeah, this is too much. Oh my god, the durability on that. Wow. <laughs> okay, we set again. No, I don't need hints, thank you. I can just do this by trial and error. 
Okay, that one is durability. Okay, we don't need any more. Oh, wait. Ah, there we go. Nice. Man, that, the previous one took a while somehow. Okay, how to... What are the hints? I forgot to check there's hints. Okay, sturdy, durable furnishing will give him a sense of safety and security. Oh, makes sense because he has endured so much in a comfortable environment will help cats to relax. For this reason, a home that offers both durability and confidence is the ideal fortress for Sir Pouncelot. But doesn't mention like how to... Oh yeah, we need to feed first, right? And then we can play with it. So yeah, you deserve all the red meats. Gentle meow, aww. Okay. Now the real game begins. <laughs> a gigantic orange cat. It's always the orange cat, right? Even our cat right now, our only... Our one and only golden child cat is like orange. Like, always the rascal, rascal rambunctious. Very active. At times, a uh, hyperactive type of cat. Okay, a gigantic orange cat that seems to have a big... A bit of a temper. I mean... He has his reasons. Due to the scarf with the insignia of the Knights of Avonis, it wears, everyone calls him Sir Pouncelot. When playing with Sir Pouncelot, it's best to exercise caution and patiently finds out what he likes. Uh, the ultimate test. Gotta be patient. Man, look at the furniture. Ooh! Oh, can I sit with you? I wanna sit with you! Yes! Man, ooh. Man. Little cutie deserves it. I mean, Big Chungus deserves it. Look at all the macaroons. The little tarts. Okay, let's play. Aww. Uh, can I start with the tail? I'm, I'm scared. Well, too bad. If I want to gain your trust, how should I do it? Should I touch your paw? Uh, okay. Should have done... Should have started off with that. Oh, he's doing. He's making dough. Okay, good. I don't think... Do you like your face to be touched because you have a scar? So you might get the wrong message. Yeah, of course. Uh, what about a, a chest rub? Do you like that? Oh, it doesn't like that too. Okay. So... Side... Oh, okay. So side and pause. So... I bet your ear you don't like your ear being touched unless you already reached the chair oh you like that oh okay i will thread carefully so okay paw he <laughs> making dough so paw getting your ears rubbed Nice, okay. End game. End game right now. Can I... Oh, I guess finally I can touch your face or something. Can I rub your tail now or... Okay, still sensitive. Don't like that. Ah, uh, your sides. Ah, okay. Oh, ha ha! Pat, pat, pat. Ah! <gasps> it did the stretch! Oh, so cute. I wanna die. I wanna die. Okay. Man, the animation of the cats, though. Oh, I wanna touch your face. Can I touch your face finally, or... Okay, I just wanna be safe. Okay, I can touch your ears. Can I touch your chest? Oh, but the points, they're not a lot. <gasps> oh, can I touch your face finally? Can I pet your face? Oh, such a good boy. Oh, okay, still no trust there. I'm sorry. Just testing out the waters. Can I touch your face now? Okay. Okay, I guess the face... I mean, makes sense because you have a scar, so... Nice. A final end is a, sh is a handshake. Okay, good! Good kitty! And then the only special one too, the, the bright colored one, orange. Ah, Sir Pamsula joins the lot. Go, go to the... I mean, I'm here right now. Where do you want me to go exactly? Okay, there. Oh, so big, so huge. 
damn oh this event really makes me like shut off my brain and just enjoy petting cats reliving good memories Oh, even Paimon's just like... They're all acting cute. Big brains think the same. Mm-hmm. Yeah, how? <gasps> <gasps> what? <laughs> hold up. Hold up. I know I'm late, but hold up. Albedo, out of all people. Where were you? <laughs> Where were you in the alchemy event? What is this? Why is Diona? Why, why, why is Diona in the alchemy event? But then she's not here. And then you. Why aren't you in the alchemy event? But then you're here. You better give me a good reason. Okay, the traces are okay. Potion indicate that Sir Pound's law should be in the vicinity. Okay. Wait, is it your cat? Oh, hello, Bin. Hello. Oh, my God, Albin. Yeah, it's so, such a long time. <laughs> he was talking about some things, Paimon. Okay, hold up. Uh, yeah, we're just checking my settings because suddenly, just like something was pinging in the background. I mean, we're at the trial stage, so... Okay, assuming that Albedo has arrived to investigate her business, Ballerina frantically searches for the relevant documents while explaining the purpose of the shelter. Ballerina appears intimidated by the identity, identity of the visitor, unaware that the investigation team doesn't handle... Yeah, she just panicked. I mean, it's a trial. Uh, doesn't have like a proper... Uh, how to say launch proper launch うーん。じゃないです。いや、だ、サムワンオンズヒム、ウィズアカラー。いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、い
敵にすぐ見つかってしまうという危険に常にさらされ捕獲者に攻撃される頻度も上がることになるつまり極度の恐怖の中で生きることになるのよその通りだよ調査小隊の拠点近くでオレンジ騎士を見つけた時体は傷だらけでかなり怯えていた相当辛い目に遭ってきたんだろうねおまえかそんなあーシューツあふがてやとプレイ私この子に攻撃されたってもう悲しいなんて思いませんだって私がもしこの子の立場だったらきっと見知らぬ人や動物を警戒してたはずですから I need to, I need to save that, the, the one. Fine, I just save it for like one minute. And then I, I just like take the screenshot. Yeah. すでに問題は解決したから心配しないでくれ。前に、錬金薬の薬を消すことのない。I like big cat. I 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 like big cat. 普通の猫と比べればまだ大きいけど少なくとも生活に支障はなくなったし騎士たちも交代で世話ができるようになった、oh, that's good to know. オレンジ騎士というのはクレイがこの子の色にちなんでつけたいみたいなのでみんなもぴったりの名前だと思ってスカーフまで作ってあげたんだ<笑>示し合わせたわけでもないのに同じ名前を思いつくなんてオイラたち息がいいかな<笑><笑> okay, Paimon. But what's up, Yahoo? But what's up, Yahoo? But what's up, Yahoo? But what's up, Yahoo? But what's up, y a h o Show t i n a m i n a m o k o n o y o s i t a r a k i t o d o k t o m y o Even Rosaria, by the way, she was the one who broke the ice. Eo Kistanta, Nekoneko Shiroma Hotskai San no Teni Kakareba. Dore da Kyo Boda Tanekomo. Tarito Shibaraku is Shania Sobeba. Suguni Otonaskana. Plus one Rosaria, by the way. Soka, just saying. Nara, Tabibito to Paimon. Orange, yes, yes, you and I kai. Oh, I we will. No question. Because he's anxious around them. And he's more comfortable with us. Aww. Oh, yes, another one. Man, the more I see it, it's like a cat albedo, right? The green eyes. Except, yes, it has like an orange fur, but with proper lighting, you can also see that albedo has like. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying because they're standing side by side, and I'm like, oh, Cat Beto. Yeah. This is a good decision. I agree. 100%. Yeah. To take turns as well. Would be a hassle. He needs attention. He needs companionship. 賢明な判断だと思うわ一度恐怖に襲われた子はできるだけ刺激から遠ざけてあげた方がいいでしょうね。Yeah. Positive environment. 完全に心が癒えるまで少しずつトラウマを取り除いてあげないと。ちょっと待って、ハウスを作って住んでもらえる No, no furniture. Pet. Oh, great! Welcome to the family, Sir Pounce a lot. Really, thank you, Armido. Don't worry. If there's time, I'll bring you to the orange tree. I want to show you the orange tree. I want to show you the orange tree. I want to show you the orange tree. Yeah, you're cute. That's what makes make this so special. Aww. 
Oh, Valerina God, I really hope there's a future rerun with more updates on this one. I like it. I like it. And I hope they add more like wild animals like foxes. I mean, yeah. Like the doggos and such. You can put him in the tea home later, yes. <laughs> Valerina, do you want your hand to get cut off or something? No, no, no. Rosaria has her boundaries, respect that. Even Valerina is like, oh shit. <laughs> what have I done? I was too giddy. It appears you enjoy interacting. Hmm. I must admit, I find it a bit surprising, right? What if it has already been mentioned in her character lore, but I didn't read it? Like she has a soft side. And then she's like, oh, it's fine. <laughs> I didn't do that much. Oh, Sundar is stopping. My gosh, she giga breathing out of nowhere. I thought she was like embarrassed getting chastised. Nice. Extend well tomorrow's the last day though. I agree. <laughs> oh my god, the camera blur, what the hell? Is this supposed to happen? This is weird. I'm just gonna screenshot that for the lols. Hey, at least you have a reason to escape. To escape from like church activities, right, Rosaria? <laughs> mm -hmm. Except don't touch my my veal. Aww. Thank you, Albedo. Do you know Yes. That's a nice gesture, please. It's not for the primo gems. It's for the cats. Oh, that would be sweet. Like a, like a JPEG image again. Like they are currently doing right now as of late. Yes! Man, Albedo just like drawing. Do it! Oh, Are we done? Oh, Sir Pancelot! Sir Pancelot! Here come the Mages. Man, too bad Albedo ain't here. Ain't chillin'. Okay, still the same. I guess that's the, this is the end, right? Nothing else. Yeah, because the even the quest line is nothing. Uh, no continuation, I mean. Yeah, still the same dialogue. But where is cute pounce a lot? <laughs> oh, so get your big. Okay, let me claim my rewards. Oh yeah, I'm praying to God reach BP fifty, please. Ah, oh, so close. Okay, what? Oh wait. Let me clean before I forget. Just need to do like one BP activity, I guess. Okay, uh, event check, let's go. <laughs> oh my god, even the images are so cute. Challenge rewards. Ayo, hey, nice. Claim all button when. All the stunts for Ale. Arlecchino, let's go. Oh yeah, the furniture. Okay, okay, hold up, hold up. Is it like an inside? Uh, it looks big though. Can I fit it inside my pot? I need to put cat inside right now. He. 
Okay, at least I already took pics of everyone. Oh, everyone except Fischl is inside the room. Okay. So let's get to my pot that I haven't touched for like God knows how long. I mean like edited, I mean. Uh, so... Welcome to my crib, y'all. This is my crib. I chose the Inazuman one because I'm a sim for Japanese aesthetics. Okay, let me double check real quick. Animal. Oh, of course it's outside. Yee <laughs> Okay, okay. Hold the hell up. Um... Oh, wait, where's my beach side? Yes! Where's that white doggo that I put before? Yeah, because Taro... I forgot his name. Taro Maru, was it? Yeah, this... This Fontanian dog. I'm sorry. So, let me put... Let me put you here! Oh, wait! <gasps> no! It's full! No! Wait, uh... Wait, how does it cost 100? Wait, oh, I guess because it has more assets on it. I can't... More accessories, so I guess it's it costed a bit more. Okay, what else can I throw away? Hmm. Uh, I guess all of this little stuff. I mean, why would I put this here? Okay, still full. Oh my god. I guess this this whole big camp. I am willing just to put Kitty in here. <gasps> Finally, yes. Next to Doggo. <laughs> oh, too much. Too much zoom. Too many zoom. Okay. Everything else, I'm just gonna edit it later. So I'm just gonna go touch. I mean, pet the cat. It's so weird. Like on the PS, you have to hold circle now before the updates. Uh, you just need to press circle. Oh, big chug, this is. Hi! Been a while, right? Since we sparred. Oh, kitty. Oh my god, it's so big. I may not get the rich bowl and tiger, but yo, you is good enough. So cute. Yeah, thank you so much. Decorate like that. This is like two years or like... I think ever since the Inazuman... Inazuman team was open. Oh, I wanna take a pic. I wanna take a pic. Side by side, let's go. And then I never changed it. But the Fontaine one is interesting. Oh, oh. Taramaru, if only you look at the camera. Man, cat is so big. Man, if only... Oh God. Because the doggo is the Inazuman one and then the cat is the monster that one. Imagine... If there's like more... Like a Fontanian one, Leeway one. Okay, so I guess the one furniture is for the inside of the house. So where should I put this though? <laughs> it seems big. Hello, waifu. Mwam, 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 waifu. Okay, so where should I put it if I can fit it in? Um. How much do you cost? 90? Ooh. Would be funny if I can place it at the hallway. I mean, the corridor upstairs. <laughs> Since weirdly enough, this has a lot of space. I don't know, man. I don't know what to tell you. See, I can put like how many characters on that one corridor. And then a, a bunch of other stuff. I'll try to put it here because I do remember there's a nook. Yes. What if I remove the the cat sofa? Uh oh my god, is it like super super big? Uh oh I shouldn't I shouldn't Wait, I didn't save, right? Uh okay, let me just I just wanna know how big is this thing? Yeah, funny enough, let's just try the corridor one. Let me just delete. It's very big. Oh, really? Oh, damn. So I guess I won't be able to fit it then. 
Man, this is the, this is the TCG room. <laughs> Do I want to sacrifice the TCG room? Okay. Let me just quit. Uh, discard. Yeah, let me try empty the uh, this room with Kokomi inside. Oh my god. Fine. I'll give you a few seconds before I edit again. Okay, so what was it again? West? Yes. Okay, let me move everything first. Take. I don't know if there's like a shortcut. I forgot. Is there a shortcut to take everything inside the room? Okay, it's green now, so. Okay, was it again? Was it small furnishing? <gasps> it can be cat room! Damn, what if I remove the shelves instead? Can I fit the thing? Uh, this card. Okay, give it a few seconds. Let it cook for a few seconds. Oh my god. Still need a few seconds. Fine, I'll chill. I'll chill with Ayaka right now. Or maybe I'll chill next to Navia right now. Drinking tea. <laughs> I haven't talked to any of them. Um, Ayaka is there, so please... <laughs> Lower your voice, Navia, or else... Or is this gonna... She's gonna skin me alive. But I don't mind. Okay, good morning. Imagine all the... Primo gems that I haven't cleaned from just talking to them. And then all the sets too, furniture sets, I haven't cleaned them. Since I actually talked to you, let me talk to Ayaka. Been a while though. Since I talked to you. Yeah, but... Ohayo. Ohayo gozaimasu. See, I think last time... Ever since Inazuma... <laughs> I never talk... I never claim all the Primo Gem dialogues. I mean, not Primo Gem, but gifts. I miss you, Ayaka. I miss you from the Roses and Musket events. That was a fun time. Okay, time to proceed with my... Home improvement. Okay, Kokomi. I'm still gonna put you in there. I just hope that there's like... Enough space. But one character already has like a lot of load, so what if I... Just as long as I can put the... The furniture first, but then all the other decorations, I will think about it later. Maybe I can like make it into a dedicated cat room, who knows. It can fit! Okay, I guess this is good enough. I mean, TCG, I already finished TCG. Ever since I got level 10 and then got the achievement and then I'm like, okay. Don't want to touch it anymore. So what do you do? <gasps> Summon cat? <gasps> oh, oh, just Sir Pouncela. Oh, I thought there's gonna be like other cats. Imagine we can like... <gasps> oh! <gasps> the best, the best, the best, the best, the best update, the best event, the best event. We got that cat. We got that cat. We got that machine bad cat. Oh, oh, oh. I really love the fact that they also put like a... Like, uh, the person they don't like. Oh, the baby rubber! Oh my god. Oh, if only they added more. Oh, Angie boy. God, this really reminds of our own cat. Like, <laughs> he has his, like, his mood. His constant, I mean, like, a drastic change of mood. Sometimes he can go so ooh, -ooh with you, but then at times he can go crazy and then suddenly, oh, the stretch! Like, you can see there's like subtle animations on the... on its legs too, like it's shaking, uh... like that, like an... like, yeah, just like good movement, basically. Oh, so angry too. 
Aww, he's making donuts. If you have more uh, cats, you can call them too. Wait, does that mean I don't have? I don't. I don't buy. <laughs> I don't buy cats. Wait, do I have? Do I not have any cats? I think. Oh, really? Really? Have I ever buy cats? Cat as pets. Have I ever? I know I remember just doggos. Particularly the Shiba Inu one. Let me check my... Let me go outside and check. Imagine if you can call the doggo to Haramago for a pet. For some good petting, head petting, stomach, I mean belly rubbing. Hell of a time. Let me see my animals. Oh, I do have cats. So it's only like specifically for a pound slot. Yeah, it makes sense because of the event. But that would be fun though if they if we can uh, add all the other cats that we bought. <laughs> oh my god, overall <laughs> best best event. You don't have to fight. You don't have to think. Well, okay, you do have to think in terms of like uh, the furniture placement. But still, you just need to like think the best spots, the best uh, weak spots. To like pet them, just treat them right. Oh, wait, yeah, what is my commission right now? Oh, my crystal fly trap is done. Okay, let's just let's just go back to monster. Let me just do like a proper outro at the place at that cute place. I'm really hoping they updated more, uh, updated more in the future. And make it like a full-on uh, permanent establishment here. With all the cute cat posters and such. Oh, that'd be so awesome. Okay. That'd be so awesome. So, okay, nearly three hours of streaming. And then not gonna lie, because of the power outage. So I lost 20 minutes. But overall, I really love this event. It's so cute. It's so fun. I can't. I can't. Man, it's just like... As I said before, really brings back like uh, fond memories of, of our old cats as well. But oh my god, imagine if they have the power to do like all of the for all the other animals like birds and such. Oh, that would be so cool. But yeah, this is like a perfect uh, place for me to stop. And then the music is fitting too. So okay, that wraps up for today's uh, stream. Really had fun with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed my reactions for it too. Because man, these are cats, man. You don't have to think too much. You just need to like pet them, treat them right. And yeah, I mean, it's for a good cause. <laughs> the other cats are, are placing the teapots. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, makes sense. So I need to, I really need to like uh, uh, do some you know, home improv, like putting more cats in. <laughs> so that I can like, yeah, I can like summon other cats uh, as well to like uh, to pet them basically. So, okay, for tomorrow, I'm gonna be, uh... How to say? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be continuing my stream, but I'm gonna stream Bayonetta 3. Oh. Can't wait for that one, because I'm really, I'm really dying to know what's gonna happen next on the third chapter. And I did uh, grind a bit, so I'm gonna update, uh, update my status tomorrow. So, usual 9, 9 p.m. Oh, because it's somehow, it's like close to midnight right now i'm not sure but probably i'm just gonna stream for like two hours but okay granted i stream a bit longer right now because i as i said my power went out so literally lost half an hour time or else i would like uh, finish this in like before 11 or i guess close to like 11 30 or whatnot but yeah i digress so yeah tomorrow we're gonna continue on with bayonetta so yeah, that's all for me for today so as always thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys for all the likes for all the comments and thank you guys for staying with me until the end of this cute event and then oh yeah even the uh, all the characters are just chilling here too and then yeah basically just a fun cute event I'm really hoping that they update it and then put more kitties or other uh, other animals uh, instead. So yeah, that's all for me, so I'm gonna poopity poop in 3, 2, 1, and boop. Bye-bye, take care, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye now, sweet dreams. <laughs> yes, I mean, I need to stretch too because my back is hurting me. But hey, my heart was full with all the fluffy kittens. Okay, bye-bye.